So another thing I do to practice aiming, um, I'm gonna go over to a clean wall over here. So this is for practicing wrist movement and maybe a little bit of arm. Again, I'll pick a spot on the wall that I want to shoot at, and then I'll kind of I'll I'll snap away from it. So now I'm like facing up here, and I'll just wrist snap back, correct, wrist snap back, correct. Yes, it's called a flick shot. It's what you do when an enemy. So when you're when you're walking, say say right, I'm say I'm facing Rebel Base over here, okay? And I see a blip on my radar towards choke door, like like it's red red, like somebody's shooting. I want to be able to snap all the way over, correct, and be able to hit choke door. Oops, I made my mouse spin out. Disappeared. And you don't zoom in either, right? Uh, oh, sorry. Blaine. You're you're fine. No, yeah, no, no. no, because zooming in is a waste of time. Like honestly, another strategy that you guys will learn, um, if you get really used to, if you get really used to where the center of your crosshair is, what you should be doing at long range, like Mich Michigan, um, go go like far back. Let's let's go outside actually. Yeah. You gotta do the long long reach shot. Yeah. yeah. You need to know where your bullets are going. Imperials headed our way. Okay. Just get get far away from me. Because each blaster has their own. Okay, okay, wait, that that that's plenty good. Okay. So just stand still. This is me scoped in, this is my walking speed. And then this is me just strafing. And so you're much less likely to hit me when I'm doing this. So here, I'm gonna shoot... I mean, do you have Bacta? Bacta yourself. Okay. And I'm just gonna kill you from this far away without scoping it, okay? Alright. I overheated, so that was a whole eight bursts. Um, I was missing a lot of those. I was just barely yeah. off. I could do it. Hold on. Back to yourself. It's like a 35 second cooldown. I mean, I guess we could also shoot at each other since. Here, shoot at me since we're on the same team. I'll count your hits. You had three. You had three hits. Yeah. Would that would that kill you? Um, no, not at this range. Cause I think use. You see the website I have in chat. Really use that website. It's awesome. Um, it's gun stats. So, Hinks, stand still again. And I'm just. And see if you can count it. Yeah. So part of the reason, Michigan, for the for the jitter like this is watch. If I'm if I'm shooting at a long range target, we'll just we'll use this as an example, okay? If I'm shooting at this, if I'm doing bigger strafing mo motions, I have to correct a lot more. Like here I am dead center of it. If I strafe over here, I'm gonna miss. So I have to correct. So the the shorter strafing motions, you'll see 
when I was shooting at pinks over there, um, when I was shooting the bursts, I was just jittering back and forth. Because that way I don't have to do as much correction. He hit all of them. Yeah. And this is, um, it, it, that's just like... Jittering instead of strafing? Yeah. Because that way I'm still avoiding shots from somebody shooting back at me, but I'm not completely defenseless by standing still. So you're, you're saying you were doing it, you were pressing Andy faster? Yes. Because if I were to do wider strafing movements, I would have to correct with my mouse more, which means I'm going to miss more. Right. Um, I'll show you guys... I'll show you guys another trick. That... that... Um... What I just did there, though, actually comes from in combat arms, the way the recoil system worked. Why is this waiting for player? Oh, there we go. The way the recoil system worked was um, jumping would give you a lot of spread, and if you stood still, you'd have no spread, and then walking, you'd have medium spread. So what people found out you could do is every single time you strafe, when you say you go right, and then you start going left, that moment in time where you stop going right and you start going left, you're actually stationary, so your spread would settle down. And so that jitter um, stepping back and forth, what I used to do is you, you know, strafe right, one shot, strafe left, one shot, strafe right, one shot. And so you're able to do tap, 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 kind of fast firing, but it's still highly accurate and you aren't slowed down by being scoped in. Oh, so shoot when you change direction. That was, that was something from combat arms. So that's just how, I mean... Depending on the game, you're not going to be able to jitter back and forth like that. But in general, that's probably what you want to do, at least for this game. And I want to show you guys one more thing, too. Let's go outside again. Oh, Hinks, you left. Yeah. Okay. If you like this video, like and subscribe. <laughs> Yeah, this is one of those videos that I anticipate will only get, like, I'm not going to spend much time editing it. It'll only get a handful of views, but, I don't know. But hey. Oh, here, I can do this video after, ready? <laughs> if you like this video, like and subscribe. Alright, so, Meshigany. What I'm going to show you is stand f sort of far away from me, just stay, stay there, find level ground. Okay, stay there. Don't get any closer or farther. So, another trick is, say I'm some noob, I'm walking around and I'm going like this. So you have two options when you want to kill me. One, you can kind of do like the jitter and like kind of track me, you know, you'll be tracking me sideways. But the other option is actually to just keep your cursor where it's at and mirror my movement. And that way, you're at the same level. See that? Are, is your cursor right, on me? Everybody walks the same speed. Yes. Oh, right. Yep. So what? And it, you know, I never really noticed 300 hours later that the damn thing turns red. Yep. When you're in it. You know. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna walk forward, okay? And you just you just you stand still and try to track me, okay? You can shoot me if you want. Okay. Um. Now go ahead. Now go ahead and do the same, and this time mirror my movement. Yeah, that's a lot easier. Way easier. Here, let me do the same to you. Yeah, so actually I found I was I wasn't leading you quite far enough. I was on you directly but not in front of you. Okay, now go ahead. Yeah. That's way easier. Mm -hmm. That uh, that you know, that uh, that really doesn't work against the Well, the idea is that if they're walking like this, they're not they're not noticing you. 
and that's the quickest way to dispatch them. So, I mean, all FPS games come down to um, two fundamental things. First of all, you need to find people, and then sec that, that, that's what makes wall hacks so, such a powerful cheat. And then second of all, you need to know which is the best way to deal with that enemy. So, if, if I'm trucking along here, right, and you're standing still, maybe you're jittering back and forth like this, you might not get me before I can get behind cover like that over there or something. And so if I'm that far away, you have to take the call, you know, you're going to expose your position by shooting at me, so you probably don't want to be exposed for really long, you want to kill me as quickly as possible, maybe if you don't get the kill, you you suck it up and move on. Um, yeah. You know, I, here's another thing, I mean, there's been many times where I've come up and snuck up on people, you know, including you, Dace, and other good players, and I can't kill you, A, probably because of the circle, but I, I'll sh the minute I shoot, boom, you guys are like, boom, like gone. And sometimes it's like two, three hits, and, and it, you know, two, three rounds of magazines or whatever, clips, and you still don't. You know, I don't know how you guys get away that fast. And when I do it, I, I oftentimes find myself, you know, going like that. Which is bad. Also, I'm noticing this too. Um, I'm kind of mirroring my my strafes. I, I kind of mirror along with you. Like right now, I'm just pretending if I were to be shooting at you. Well, I know that's just something I do personally. Um, just because then, if you do decide to strafe like this for a good stretch, I'm able to just track you and hit you every single time. How do you do the moonwalk slide? I mean, that's, I've done it like, like a couple times. What's the moonwalk slide? Well, you just like you just you just slide instead of roll. Oh, that's um, it's just an animation bug. Also, um, let's see, what's another aiming tip? So when you shoot people out of the sky with the jump pack, obviously you want to leave. Um, right. You have your jump pack? Yep. Okay, you know, oh, fuck, no. Okay, um, we'll meet outside again, and I'll have you jet pack, and I will shoot you a couple times in the air. Like, you'll jump pack laterally from my perspective. And that way, this recording, you'll see how I'm leading you. I mean, like, it's easy. If they jet towards you, those are really easy kills. Um, okay, that time, that was a good example of me tracking you. So that was, I wasn't leading you. That was me just purely following your motion. Alright, ready? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that wasn't bad. I don't know. I can probably do a lot better than that. I know I can because I pulled off much better shots. Go ahead. So, yeah, so, okay. Something right there is it seemed like right when you're at the, um, the maximum of your, whatever the math term is, for the maximum of the, you know, the parabola. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, um, like you're momentarily not going up and not going down, and so I think I was able to land two or three hits right there. Alright, ready? Yep. Yeah, yeah, definitely at the apex is, yeah, definitely the apex is where I'm getting you hit. Versus, I know sometimes this next one, you know sometimes they'll, somebody will like panic jet, and they basically go straight up and straight down, and it's like pretty easy to hit. I'll go ahead and try to do that for you. Okay, ready? Uh, so I'm still gonna go a little bit forward, but ready? Yep. yep. Right, go, go, go. I think I got one hit, maybe. Down. Yeah, you did. Yeah, but you can see when I'm up there for a moment, it's right. I'm kind of stationary. 
And that's where, because you're using a burst fire weapon now and no longer fully automatic, you need to like make sure that that's when you click. Not, you know, it's not just about tracking, it's also about your click timing. So ready, I'll do the same thing. Three, two. So yeah, that's a mistake that a lot of people do is like, say, say you're hiding undercover right here and I'm like over here and I'm like, oh, I'm going to kill you. Stay, stay there. And people jet like this. And they, they kind of like come down right here. What you would optimally want to do if you're, if you're going to be an idiot and jetpack across like that, you're going to want to land somewhere where like you have cover, like maybe here or something. Like if you watch whenever Spathy and I jump cannon, um, you'll notice it's not just like, if you and me are fighting right here, I'm not just going to jump cannon just to try to get a shot off of you. I'm going to do something like this. And then I'll try to hit you, and now I have cover over here and a different angle to work on. I mean, most of this information that I'm telling you is only really useful in a one-on-one, -on -one, because in an actual match, if, like, somebody's here and you're right there, I shouldn't have to use a jump pack and a sniper just to kill you. Especially since you're the one playing defensively right now, so I'm the one who's toast. Okay, ready? I'm going to do the same. I'm going to jet over to you. Ready? Okay. Alright. So some of those shots are a little bit behind. Alright, now you try um, jetting over to me. Again, same thing. Try to land right on top of me. So that one you actually went over me, so I had to like turn my mouse all the oh, way around. Okay. But if you saw yeah. most of those hits was when you were at the apex of your jump. The, uh, which, which board is that? The Jawa Refuge? That's, that's the one with the sand crawler. Yeah, you definitely need the jump pack there. Yep. Um, yeah, I switched between jump pack and back to there. Thermal dead again isn't all that useful because there's not a lot of corners to hide behind. And jump pack... For public games, absolutely jump pack because getting onto the crawler and because getting onto the high ground since that map's all about controlling the high ground. But back is good for competitive play because in competitive play, you play your team will play more as a unit. You're not going to go off and go camp on the crawler. Okay, try the, try the jumping thing again. So this time, just try to land right on top of my head. Okay? Okay. Ready? Yep. Ooh, I led you a bit too much. Alright, ready? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay, yeah, that was a hit, but I guess it didn't kill you. Okay. Um, maybe just one more since you apparently lived. <laughs> My charge is still. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, another hit that didn't kill. Okay, well, at least that shows you like how you should be leading your shots. So hopefully that helps.